Hi, I'm Mike Kubitschek, an application engineer with Worldwide Electric. This is a series of videos to go over the wiring and configuration of the WDG2 drive. This is a one horsepower unit. This drive goes up to 30 horse constant torque and 40 horse variable torque. All demonstrations are on a one horsepower unit, but the wiring and configuring is the exact same across the entire horsepower range. The up down arrows will take you through the control groups such as acceleration, deceleration, command source, and frequency source. The mode button to the left will take you through the different parameter groups such as drive, basic for motor information, advanced, control, inputs, outputs, and things of that nature. To enter the groups you press the enter button on the right to go into the parameter, change the parameter using the arrows, and hit enter again to store the setting. Then hit the mode button to go back to the main screen. In this video, we will show you how to set the parameters for a three wire start stop control on the WD G2 drive. The WD G2 drive comes default for a digital input to start the drive. To set the settings for a three wire start stop operation, Using a normally open start button and a normally closed stop button, we will go to our input parameter group by using the mode button until we get to our input parameter group. And then use the arrows to navigate to input 65, which is the parameter setting for the first input terminal. We hit enter. Default is one for forward run command. We will leave that there. We'll go to input parameter 66 for the second input terminal, and we will set that for 14 for three wire control. And that is where we will land the normally closed stop button on the drive. Now hit the mode button until you get back to the main screen with the drive speed. We are now good to run the drive using a three wire start stop setup. Remember, this video is not a replacement for the product manual and please follow all applicable safety procedures before commencing any work.